Hey folks, this is Chris Handel with Hanlon's Hollywood Memorabilia, uh, here to bring you uh, some great items for our next auction that's coming up uh, the weekend of April 30th, Saturday, April 30th, noon Central Time, uh, Sunday, uh, or May, yeah, Sunday, May 1st, noon Central Time as well. Uh, but the items I want to talk to you about today are a collection of items that come from the estate of Grant McCune, who's one of the great model makers in movie history and and one of uh, some of the the great models he made are from Star Wars A New Hope the original Star Wars 1977 what we have here is uh, a TIE fighter that has been built from all original production parts in around 2016 2017 there was a storage locker belonging to Grant McCune after he passed away that went up for sale sold to someone and then that person sold uh, several all the contents of the of the locker to what I could find out five different people been re researching uh, this along with the other pieces that we're going to talk about for about four four and a half years before we were uh, bringing them uh, to sale for you today uh, I want to I want this video to serve kind of as a digital COA if you will uh, because I I we do so much research and, and we find out so much about different pieces and then when we sell those it just comes with a piece of paper that's a COA that says this is what it is but a lot of uh, the details and the history of the items is lost and uh, I really like those that history to travel with the items and because there's so much uh, to know and talk about about uh, these specific things that I wanted to do it in video form that way uh, whoever is the lucky person to take this home you know, we'll have all the details that, that, that I personally have uh, about the things that we're going to sell. So, in this locker was all of the pieces to assemble. Uh, what you see here is a studio scale uh, model TIE fighter. The detail is absolutely incredible. One of the things about this piece that makes it completely different from all of the other studio scale models that have been sold ever uh, replicas and everything else. There's only uh, the one that we know that was screen used was sold by Edland uh, some years ago in 2008 at auction and that one had uh, the original metal in in between the uh, fins here on the TIE Fighter. This TIE Fighter here has all original metal venting pieces that were in the locker along with the, all the other pieces. I have a, uh, there's a few uh, in production or, or in assembly uh, pictures that we're going to include uh, in the video and in, in the listing of the pieces uh, before they were put together but uh, having the original metal to be honest with you before we got this I didn't I wasn't really certain that this was supposed to be metal inside here because uh, I'd never been close up with uh, with the hero one before but this is as close as you're going to get to to having a uh, hero production studio scale TIE fighter. Again, it's made from production parts that were uh, found in that locker. And then um, the consigner paid a professional uh, model assembly guy now that's in the movie industry to then assemble what you see now and uh, give it the life that it's, that it's got now. The TIE fighter... Uh, that you see here that are slightly that make it slightly different from the screen used studio scale TIE fighter that you see in behind the scenes pictures of A New Hope. And because of that, one of the things is that the TIE fighter is made of two half pieces. You can see this when you see the pieces on the table uh, pre-assembly. And the pieces that were in the locker are both the same piece. And when you put the TIE fighter together, both of those pieces are very similar, but there's a few differences. So in order to not remanufacture a whole half center section of the TIE Fighter, the, the, we had the model maker use the original production half and alter it so it, would, so it looks uh, like the proper other half. So when that happened, there was, a, there was one little detail that didn't end up on here. And it's, um, there's a little detail that's supposed to be right here uh, in this spot. It's not there when you look... When you compare this to uh, the studio scale, it's because of that work that was done. There's a little bit of detail right there that's missing. And the seat that's in the cockpit uh, was not in the locker. And the model maker had to, had to fabricate the seat. So the only piece on here that's fabricated and not original is the seat in the cockpit. 
everything else, including the metal venting and the wings and everything, is all sourced from uh, Grant McCune, uh, Grant McCune's estate items all belonging to him.